can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given these two circles with the unknown radius, and take note that this figure is not run to scale, what we know in this figure is the distance between these two points of tangency, and this is equivalent to 12 units. Also, we know the distance of the centers of these two circles. This is 30 units. So the question is, what is the area of this big circle? Now, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this figure, the goal is to find the area of this big circle. And of course, if we want the area, we need the radius. So let's call the radius of this big circle be equal to capital R. While the radius of this small circle is small r. Now, what we can do here is to create a right triangle using this segment measures 12 and connect this to this 13 units. It looks something like this. Now, we created a rectangle right over here on the bottom part. And on the top, we created a right triangle. Now, this right triangle measures one leg is 12 units and the hypotenuse 13 units. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can calculate this remaining side. So this is just square root of 13 squared minus 12 squared, or simply a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So solving for the other leg, we have square root of 13 squared minus 12 squared, which is 169 minus 144. And 169 minus 144 is 25. This means that this segment right over here measures 5 units. Now, from this figure, we can create two equations involving capital R and small r. Now, look at this. This is the length of the capital R. And this length is the small r. So if we subtract the small r to capital R, the result is positive 5. So one equation is capital R minus small r equals 5. Now another equation. Take note that this is the radius of the big circle and this is the radius of the small circle. So we can say that when we add the radius of the big circle and the small circle, this is equivalent to 13. So capital R plus small r equals 13. And using these two equations, we can now get the value of this capital R. If we add these two equations, we can now eliminate negative r and positive r. This is just 0. So this becomes 2 times capital R equals 18. Now divide both sides by 2, we get that capital R equals 9. So going back to our figure, we now know that the measure of this capital R is 9 units. And we can now calculate its area because the area of a circle is equivalent to pi r squared. We know the capital R which is 9. So the area of this big circle is equivalent to 81 pi square units. And that is the answer to this question. Therefore, given this figure which is not drawn to scale, then the area of this big circle is equivalent to 81 pi square units. And as always, we are done.